Today, I'm going to share with you my number one best method for English speaking practice. And the best part, it's free. I recommend this method to all my clients that want to improve their business English confidence. And all of you are on a journey to not only learn English, but improve your English conversation skills and be able to speak English naturally. Let me ask you, how do you feel about your English speaking skills today? Are you confident when you're speaking English? Would you like to feel English fluency when you're speaking English? If the answer is yes, and you do want to speak fluently, you need to understand there's no magic way to become a confident English speaker. It's work. And you need to put in the work. You need to understand how important practice is in improving fluency. Now, there's lots of apps and tools and videos out there that can help with your English speaking. My number one method for your English speaking practice is to record yourself speaking. Yes, I know. Everyone hates to listen to themselves when they record themselves speaking. I get it. <laughs> There's almost nobody that enjoys it, but it works. Let me ask you, have you ever listened to yourself speak English? Have you ever listened to a recording of you speaking English? Because most people haven't. And when you do, it's really interesting what you find. So here's what you're going to do. You can record yourself on your computer, a tablet, or your phone. Let's use the example of your phone. Take your phone and record yourself speaking. And only record yourself for 30 to 60 seconds. You don't need to do more than that. There's no benefit to recording yourself for five minutes. Don't do it. 30 to 60 seconds only. Using a video recording is, is better than just doing an audio recording. I'm going to show you why it really helps to watch yourself as you're reviewing your recording of your speaking. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Your topic for the first time you record yourself is something that you know very well. And the topic will be, what did I do yesterday? Only you know the answer to this question. So it should be really easy. You can't give a wrong answer. You're the only one that knows what you did yesterday. So it's not about the topic. It's just about you speaking. Again, I want you to make a video recording for 30 to 60 seconds of yourself speaking about what you did yesterday. Don't practice or memorize or write anything out. Just speak. Just speak for 30 seconds. After you record yourself, I want you to watch and listen to the recording. Now, be nice, because I know you're going to have all kinds of reactions. All of you, or most all of you, are going to say, oh, I hate this. I hate watching myself. And you will. You will really hate it. We all hate listening to ourselves speaking. But it gets better. You might watch this video and find a hundred different things that you want to improve on. But be nice to yourself. You're the only one that knows what's on this recording. You're the only one watching. So be nice to yourself. This is a great way to practice English speaking by yourself. Now, here's the important part. You can only choose one thing that you want to improve on. Even if you look at this video and you see a hundred things, you only get to choose one thing. There's many things that you might not like. As an example, I speak too fast. I speak too slow. I sound like a robot. I have no feeling in my speaking. I don't like my pronunciation. I can't find the right words. 
I keep saying the same things over and over again. I only use simple words. I say, um, and ah, uh, a lot when I'm speaking because I get stuck. And if that's your case, you might check out this video that I made about how to reduce the amount of times that you say, um, and ah. Uh. Or you might say, I don't sound confident. Or maybe you just feel like you don't sound fluent. Or when you look at yourself, you might say, I don't like how my body looks when I speak. I don't like how my face looks when I speak. I, I don't use my hands when I speak. I use my hands too much when I speak. Think about me. I use my hands a lot when I speak because I find that it allows me to just speak from the heart, not from the head, from the heart. So maybe you want to add your hands as you speak, something you probably never thought of before. Or there can be many, many, many more things that you don't like about your speaking. But choose only one thing. Tomorrow, you can record yourself speaking again and focus on trying to improve that one thing. Again, here's the method that I'm recommending to you. Record yourself speaking for 30 to 60 seconds only. Listen to your recording. Find only one thing that you want to improve on. Record yourself again tomorrow. But when you think about this, it only takes a few minutes in your day, maybe five minutes total. That's about three minutes of being really nervous and worried and 45 seconds of speaking and 45 seconds of listening to yourself speak. That's it. That's all. Five minutes. You can invest five minutes of time every day to your English speaking practice. What you're going to find is that you're going to become your best speaking coach. That might sound crazy to you right now. When I tell you, you are going to be your best speaking coach. But it's true. You know in your head, you have a feeling, you have a thought up here. What you really want to sound like as an English speaker. I want to sound like this person. Or I want to feel like this. Okay, now here's your chance. You can become that speaker. Focus on that. Speak every day like the speaker that you want to become. Don't be somebody else. Be you. You can use me and follow me and shadow practice with me, but be yourself. Speak like you want to speak. You speak only like you speak in your native language. Now do the same thing in English. You'll be an amazing coach to yourself. You'll see. Some people complain to me and they say, I don't know what to speak about. Well, I've included a short list of topics that you can talk about, and I put those in the description below this video. And if you really can't think of anything, sit down with your friend Google or ChatGPT and ask for a list of speaking topics. You'll never run out of ideas. Please don't use that as an excuse that you can't record yourself speaking. I had a client that recorded himself for 120 days in a row. It was really amazing what happened. At first, like everybody, he hated it. Of course he did, we all do. But he dedicated five minutes of his day, every day for 120 days. And quickly he began to see his confidence increase. And over the first month, it just continued to increase. And you could just feel it with him when I was having conversations with him. It takes a very short period of time to do this. But the problem is, most people won't do this. They know it works. They know if you know. If you're going to record yourself speaking, it's going to work. But you won't do it. You'll quit. And you won't do this. You might do it once, you might do it twice, but you'll quit and you won't do it for 30 days. You won't do it for 60 days. You won't do it for 120 days. I really hope you do. 
This works. This is truly my number one method for helping you improve your speaking. Let me summarize what you're going to do one more time. So step one, record yourself speaking for 30 to 60 seconds. Step two, watch and listen to the recording. Be nice to yourself when you watch this. Step three, choose one thing that you want to improve on. Only one thing. Step four, record yourself speaking tomorrow and focus on improving that one thing. Step five, don't quit. Keep going. You can do this. I challenge you. I challenge you to do this for 90 days. Can you do it? I know you can do it. Will you do it or will you quit? Do yourself a favor. Do this. Try it. Please share your experience of recording yourself in the comments below this video. I'm sure you'll all have some really funny and interesting moments that will be fun to share. This is hard, but it's at the same time, it's also really easy. It doesn't take very much time. So please share your stories. People would love to hear it. I also know that some of you are going to have great success stories to share because this works. It's not just a video. This is the number one tool that I know of, of how to help you improve your confidence when speaking in English. So have fun with this. I can't wait to hear what happens. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments. And I also invite you to learn your business English confidence score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.